Hello, Libra. Happy January 2021. So we are doing things differently for the monthly reading. So you'll see you'll have a reading of what you need to know. And this is a long, long enough spread. And then we'll do love and finance. Okay, so set your positive intention. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is... Um, the way that many people love this form of reading that I do, so I really like it. It's the way that I did in the past. And a card I created for you guys, I just pulled it. Breathe and become calm. This will help. So whatever you're going through, breathe and be calm. This will help, okay? So a little positive message, a, a beautiful affirmation that you can say to yourself, breathe and be calm. This will help. So Libra, what is your January reading? What do you need to know? Okay, here we go. So this card is going to represent your present moment right now. The challenge. Your distant past or what you what can ground you, right? And this is your 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 recent past the best outcome, and your immediate future position, okay? So the situation right now is that you are a knight on a journey, okay? You have the fire, the conviction within you, all right? And this is your motion. The motion that you're going forward in is one of really being curious, uh, adventure, Maybe something that you are desiring to happen, an outcome. And you have a lot of energy toward this and a lot of passion. But what you have to look out for is being a fool in the sense of not really having enough information, maybe too much wishful thinking or dreaming. But the fool is strong and positive because it has a clean slate. So you are you have a clean slate and you can create. <laughs> clean slate, you can create, okay? So what you can look out for in your distant past was feeling brokenhearted about something that happens. So it doesn't have to be a personal relationship. It could be, it could be, um, any kind of situation that you just felt like, man, this could have worked out a lot better and it didn't. Okay. And these are, these are really hard situations to deal with when you know that things could have been better or it didn't have to go that way. It was a learning situation. Now you're, your recent past okay and you can learn from this because this can ground you that that being in the distant past your recent past was you thinking about how you communicate right and how prepared you weren't for something or you maybe wasn't taking an advice that you should have taken that would have made this situation a lot better but even though you're correct maybe in a situation or you were doing what was right, it might not have turned out that way. The best outcome is to move forward in the most positive way. You are a knight. You are in motion. You have the power of your voice, of your words at your command. And the source is air. So it is about you having your strong conviction, right? Your own, even your own opinion, right? And moving forward quickly. This can be negative or positive, but in this situation, it's about moving forward and being positive about that and realizing that the best outcome is you protecting yourself, defending yourself, knowing that you were right, being persistent, being a go-getter, going after it, okay? Going after your goal, whatever that goal is that you know you need to get for January. So this is your immediate future, okay? Your immediate future can be some kind of disagreement, but you're going to win and it's going to fulfill your ego. So, you know, you might be right, but be careful how you you are when you win. Try not to, you know, um, rub it in too much, but I feel like you know that you were correct in this situation. That's how we're taking that one. Okay. Now. Something that can happen or a situation now 
that can affect you that is really not um, something that you th maybe thought of, but it's a factor. It's, it's something that can affect the situation. And it's about how you move past any chaotic situation in your life. How, how are you going to move past any chaotic situation? Okay, how are you going to maintain your mental peace, peace, even though things might not be perfect in the way you want? An external influence that could happen. What's an external influence that could happen in January for Libra? It could be someone else trying to mess up something for you or uh, something chaotic happening that's really not in your control but you are persistent and remember that you have this nine of wands energy so you are persistent and let's see what your hopes and your fears are and try not to feed into the fears but it's a realistic thing is regarding your happiness your your stability okay and harmony your home your marriage like just you know having a legitimate concern about that so put that positivity into it and let's see what that final outcome can be for january it's about you winning yes you winning conquering january okay so putting that positive energy into your january doing things that you know will work maybe um, working on something, you know, using your time to work on something that is a solution, a, a near solution or a future solution. Three things you can do right now that can help. Okay, increase your luck, double your power. You can be the hermit. Yes, be the hermit. That's what I'm talking about. You know, look into things, um, search into things, find guidance. You know, this is it. It's like you are creating your solution. Boom. I like that. And the second thing you can do right now that's positive that can help. You can realize that you are the magician. You create. I create, I recreate. That's in a song I like. I, it's like a chant. I create, I recreate. And you have that ability. The third is realizing that you know, your family has your back. Um, you have your back if you're alone. You know, your dog, your cat, your bird. I don't know. But if you have a family, that means that you can draw on your ancestral power. You, you can, you can um, draw on the vision of your future family or the vision of the life that you want that is comfortable for you. Okay, so that is that. All right. So let's move this over to the side. And let's look at a love reading for you, okay? So let's check out the love reading. Love reading for Libra, January 2021. Love reading. The love reading is you focusing, that's interesting, you focusing on what can bring you balance, number one, right? An idea. Right. And realizing that it doesn't have to be just one way, but how are you moving forward in love? Right. Um, what are you learning about love? Right. So it's about your how you see it and how how you act in it and how you you are willing or not willing to learn about it. And and the, the king of pentacles is you're you're not understanding of how money plays into your love, like using it the right way and not the wrong way. And then realizing that for some of you, you might, um, won't be having that love for any time soon, or it could also mean that your, your negative idea regarding love will be changing, okay? And hopefully for the best. But when it comes to money, you know, be, being, being a team or just being positive about how you view money in a relationship that is the best way for you and a relationship okay so all about how you view it it might not be the best way and cause tension 
and there might be a money situation that needs to clear up or something regarding how you view love and how you give love, okay? So let me know um, how that reading relates to you. The first reading and the love reading. So let's look at the finance reading, okay? So finance reading for Libra for January 2021. So the finance is about still using more than what you have, and that's just the situation right now, but you're working on something and something, you're working on something and it's going to come through that will be beneficial for you and bring in more prosperity. So you're working on it right now and time will definitely um, bring that more finance coming in, but you have less than you want, but more will be coming in and your family situation will improve and it will be more in the idea of where you want it and how you want it, okay? So I wish you guys good luck in January. Let me know how this reading works for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.